Hello, Cubs. Today we're going to read Teddy Bears Cure a Cold. Before we get to that, Mr. Bruce is going to put on his Harry Potter glasses and start with eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body calm. Okay. Teddy Bear Cures a Cold. This is about a family of teddy bears. I feel sick, said William. You can't be sick, said Andrew. We're going to try out our new tools today. Look, they have all their tools on their breakfast table. William said, but I am sick and I'm going back to bed. William did not eat his breakfast. That was not like him. Maybe he really is sick, says Robert. I don't believe it, said Louise. He just wants breakfast in bed. Well, let's go see, said Charles. You don't look so sick to me, said Louise. My throat hurts, William complained. That afternoon, William was still in bed. Let's play monkey in the middle, said Andrew. It'll cheer you up. My head hurts, says William. He does look a little sick, doesn't he? The next morning, Charles made William a special breakfast. I'm not hungry, said William. William's always hungry, said Louise. He must be sick. Charles found the thermometer. Louise took out her flashlight. William, you have white spots on your throat, she said. And he has a temperature too, said Charles. We'll have to take good care of him. He really is sick. Louise and John made the bed. Robert found a hot water bottle. I'll be in charge of the temperature chart, said Charles. Andrew made a honey and lemon drink. Thank you, said William. That evening, William felt worse. One minute he was hot, the next minute he was cold. His sheets were sticky and talking gave him a headache. The other bears tiptoed away and William finally, finally fell asleep. Tap, tap, tap. What was that? William sat straight up in bed. Go away, he shouted. Who's here? I don't see anybody, do you? The light came on. I heard something tapping, said William. Oh, it must have been the wind, said Robert. I saw things. It's because you're sick, said Charles. The next day, there was a chocolate... Candy pig for William, and Sarah brought him some flowers. I hope you like tulips, she said. Charles gave him a bell and said, Ring if you need anything. Thank you, said William. For the next few days, he stayed in bed and mostly slept. One morning, Sarah made him some oatmeal. Thank you, said William. But could you make me a banana milkshake? She brought him some apples, and he said, Thank you, but will you peel them for me? Andrew brought him some cards, and he said, Thank you, but I'd rather have a jigsaw puzzle and a bag of peanuts. Louis said, Mmm, something smells fishy here. That afternoon, Charles rang his bell. Sarah, he called, could you bring me a blanket? He rang the bell again. Ding, ding, ding. Charles, Robert, open the window, it's too hot. Ding, ding, ding. John, will you read me a story? He rang his bell again. Oh, what does he want now, said Andrew. He wants potato chips. Who's going to go get them? It's cold outside. Look, it's snowing out. You see the snow? They were very quiet downstairs, thought William. Why, where is my lunch? Then he looked out the window. There they were, down in the snow, playing. William waited and waited. At last, Louise came in with a tray. Where are my potato chips? Sorry, but I made rice pudding instead. It'll be better for your throat. Andrew peeked into the room. Come on, Louise, we're ready. Ready for what, said William. Oh, we're doing something. We'll tell you later. 
Here's William now, sitting on his bed. And all the things you left on his bed from when he's been sick. Flashlights, rice pudding, jigsaw puzzles, cards, get well cards. Ugh. He looked at the rice pudding. He looked at his puzzle. The pieces were all over the bed. There were crumbs everywhere. Where is everybody? He heard bump, bump, clash, clash, boom, boom. What's that? He heard sawing. Boom, 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 boom. They're making something with the tools, said William. What would it be? A bookshelf? A birdhouse? I don't know. He heard bam, bam, bam. He said, maybe they're making me a trampoline. William jumped out of bed and ran downstairs to see what they were making. William, what are you doing out of bed? Have you seen what we've made? William's mouth was too full to answer. He was eating chocolate cake and drinking milk. Come and see. It was a giant sled to play in the snow. Who's going to steer first, said Louise. I am, said William. But I thought you were sick, said Louise. I was sick, said William. I'm feeling much better now, thank you. All afternoon, it kept snowing, and it went sledding up and down the hills and up and down the hills. When they finally got home, William said, it's tea time. Everyone was hungry, except Louise. But there are donuts and chocolate cake, said William. I don't want any, said Louise. I'm going to my bed. I think I'm sick. Oh, look, she's got her tissues oh, and the bell to ring. She wants them to wait on her now. The end. I like that book. Well, when we went through this adventure, there were a lot of things that went through William's room, and they're all on these pictures. I see the saw and an apple core and the bell, some of the bears, donuts, the cake. Can you think of anything and remember where it came up when you when you saw the book for the first time? They were all in there. Do you remember seeing where some of these things were in the book? All right, you can always go back and look and see it again and see if you can find out where they were when they show up in the book. Until next time, be good to your parents and wash your hands. Bye-bye.